Okay, so hello again, everybody. So this is the present perfect tense part two, um, for year seven. Okay, I'm Miss Farhana. The word for today is present perfect tense, and the wheel is using present perfect tense in writing. So in the first part, we talk about um the usage of present perfect tense and also some examples of present perfect tense the form of present perfect tense so for part two we are going to talk about past tense versus present perfect tense okay so um from my experience teaching english a lot of i received quite a number of questions about when to use past tense and when to use present perfect tense because um, as you know, past tense talk about um, something in the past. We use past tense to talk about something in the past. And we also use present perfect tense to talk about things in the past. But there is a very um, clear difference between these two type of tenses. So, yeah, let's um, look at the differences between these two tenses, okay? So... Why do we use present perfect for past action? Okay, as the name suggested, present perfect. Present perfect is categorized under the present form of tense. Okay, so why do we use it for past action? So before I explain why, I would like us to look at the meaning of the word present and perfect. Okay, present here um, is actually trying to show that the auxiliary verb is in present tense. Okay, the auxiliary verb, which is have and have, is in present tense. Perfect here means that the main verb or action is done. Okay, meaning the verb has been completed. When we say completed, we know that it is in the past. Okay, now when we put it together, present and perfect become present perfect. So it means that the current state in the present is a result of a completed action in the past meaning meaning that what happened now is a result of something happened in the past okay so uh, let's look at the example maybe we can understand better so you haven't answered my question you haven't answered my question okay half half is the auxiliary verb half is in the present state meaning that now in the present state the person is not giving any answer. Okay, the person is not giving any answer currently. Answered, which is in the past participle, indicate that the question was asked, but no answer was but no answer was received in the past. Let's say I asked you the question 10 minutes ago, and 10 minutes ago you haven't um you haven't um or sorry, 10 minutes ago, you did not answer my question. Okay, 10 minutes ago, you did not answer my question. And up until now, when I, when I say you haven't answered, you haven't answered my question, you still have not, you still have not answering my question. So, meaning that the question was asked, the action has been completed. The action of asking and answering has been completed, which you did not answer. And up until now, you haven't answered my question. Okay, let's take another example. She has been married. She has been married. Okay, now, the word has indicate that at the current state, the person is still married. Okay, still married to... Her husband. She has been married. But the action of getting married happened maybe years ago. Okay? She got married like five years ago. But until now, the result of getting married five years ago is... The result of getting married five years ago is up until now, she is still married. Okay? The, the, state, the current state now is... She is married. She is somebody's wife. Okay? She is married. But it is the result of what happened five years ago, which is the day when she got married. Okay? You need to understand that. The present state, which is 
a result of what happened in the past. Okay, that is present perfect. Now, we move on to the night. Okay, um, past tense versus present perfect tense. So, I want you to be able to see clearly. So, I put it side by side. Past tense and present perfect tense. Okay, uh, past tense, we can use it with specific time or without specific time. Okay, I put the, the example here. I did it yesterday, specific time. I did it, no specific time. Okay, however, for present perfect tense, you cannot use it with specific time. Okay, you cannot use it with specific time because in present perfect, the time is not important. Okay, I have done it. Okay, you don't know when, but what you know is... It's finished. Okay. Okay. Now, um, remember the current you you completed the action somewhere in the past, but the current state now you when it is completed you you have you have completed the task and up until now it's completed. Okay. So now uh, past tense you cannot use it. Um, to talk about unfinished action. Okay, you cannot use past tense to talk about unfinished action. However, you can use present perfect to talk about unfinished action. As the example indicate here, I have lived here for many years. I have lived here for many years. Meaning, you have you start living here years ago and up until now, you're still living at that place. Okay? So, that is the difference between past, uh, sorry, between past tense and present perfect tense. Okay, I really would like you to, and I, I really want you to understand the differences between past tense and present perfect tense. And also, I really want you to be able to distinguish um, the usage between these two, okay? Um, remember, present perfect tense is an action that um, happened in the past which um, affect the current state that you are in, okay? Um, okay, uh, so for your exercise, you can click the link in the description box below. I promise you this is um, an interesting exercise for you to do. So, yeah, that's all for this week. I'll see you next week. Thank you. Bye-bye.